Mom. You don't like touching chicken. Mom. Mom not about to come and cook just some chicken, Mom. You think she would? Yeah, I know she would. She'd come cook the chicken and then clean up the leaves. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Well, this is I'm about to come over here and help mama cook this chicken because she don't want to okay, touch still, it. That's not hot. It's not hot. Her nails are not are too good for the chicken meat. Are you vlogging? Yeah, it's a little bit. Do I look busted on there? Just shine it in a mole rat. <laughs> a mole rat? Yeah. A mole rat. What'd I say? A mole rat. Well, I look like a mole rat. <laughs> okay. Look at mama got some, some treats for when you come in the house. Some yummy edibles, delectables. Well, they ain't quite edibles, but you know. They're definitely. Ooh, they smell so good. They fresh, they sell them in that store. <laughs> Wish y'all could get a whiff of that. Y'all know I like to give y'all whiffs and views, whiffs and views. <laughs> I'm dressed up a little bit, y'all. I had an interview today. Don't mind them busted, crusted toes, but I'll let y'all check out the feet. I'm gonna cut this too, but. Hey, we could bottle those up. Cause they're not done. I have not been to get my feet done. So you can only imagine what those fat babies are looking like. <laughs> oh, I had a couple questions about um, Kitty. Kitty is gone. Sister girl is out the building, y'all. And her kitties are on their way out the door too because they keep peeing on my couch. Ew. And I don't like that. Like, it's really starting to get to the point where I have to, I mean, you don't know how couches are. I have to take the cushions, the jacket off the couch, take the cushions off the couch, take the jackets off the cushions, wash the jackets, then put them back on there for them to turn around and do it again. Ew. So I looked to see like what that means when cats do that. Mom. What? I looked to see what? what just ew. ew. And just That's go ahead and say it, mom. Just go ahead. Your screen is dirty. That thing is foggy. You need to wipe that They face. don't know that. Wipe their face, bro. I can take it. Okay, let's wipe y'all face off. Oh, what? Oh, you wow. Have to that big thumb, that big thumb. <laughs> that big freaking thumb be on there. Big thumbs. thumbs I told him about my wide nail bands. That's why we can't do the press ons. But y'all, the cats just keep using the bathroom. They have to go. So right now, I told. Um, what that mean? Did you look it up? Oh, yeah, I looked it up. And it means that they, that we've moved the litter box too many times. So they're getting anxiety. They can't figure <laughs> out. They can't figure out what's going on. So, which okay, it is my fault to a certain extent. The only reason I moved it is to move it outside to clean it because one of them had some poop pellets in there. So I had to get those poop pellets out, and I moved it for a couple minutes, just a couple of minutes, and I made sure they used the bathroom before I moved it, and then I put it back. So for them to go and think that they're gonna keep using the bathroom on my couch is another story. They're about to find a new home. Well, I'm gonna find them a new home. And I know y'all love them, I know, but we gonna get us some fish. Oh, you done, did you try to fish things before the door? I have, but guess what? I don't have nobody there to kill them. All them I don't funerals. got nobody there to kill them, y'all. Okay, story time. Fish funerals. Story time. Fun. Story time, because my mom is responsible for killing oh, one of my fish. Oh, that's a lie! My mama, Peaky, and Shan are all responsible. Let me tell y'all how much they hated my fish and my lifestyle with my fish. First of all, I was an over the road truck driver. <laughs> Okay, that fish. Yeah. That's stupid fish. Okay, see? Calling him stupid. He not even alive and she don't have no respect for what he's been through. All right, listen. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened, essentially. I go to clean out his, his little tank like I normally do. Because he had a nice little different type of tank. It was like a vase, technically. But it was fancy for him. I go to clean it out and like I normally do. Took him in the kitchen. I put him in his cup that I actually bought him in. On one side of the counter, on the other side was his bowl, <clears throat> and then the sink was, he was sitting like right next to the sink. Well, I'm cleaning out his little thing, and I leave him inside of the little cup for a little while, just so the um, pH balance in the water that he's actually in can be the same as what I'm about to put him in, because I cleaned out his tank, if you get what I'm saying. So what happened was, He's sitting on the counter. I give him some time to just sit there. And I go outside on the back porch. I'm minding my business. Okay, now one thing 
is for sure. They hated our relationship. Okay, they hated me and Patrick's relationship. His nickname was Patty. Just to shorten for Patrick. They hated our relationship so much. Every chance they got, they talked about him. They talked mad junk about Patrick. That he was the anything. noisiest fish ever. Okay, see, now that she's getting them twisted, now I know that she'll probably put kill Chappie. Because <laughs> okay, Chappie was the noisy one. So you've been in there messing with Chappie. <laughs> Chappie had his own room, y'all. <laughs> but he, um, but Patrick. I come back in the house, y'all. Why is Patrick laying on the, on the, in the sink? He was on the counter. Okay, wait a minute, Mom. Uh-uh, he wasn't on the counter yet. <laughs> he was in the sink, y'all. I went to try and get him, pick him up while I'm screaming at them. Who done did this to Patrick? Because he's barely breathing. Like, he is just barely breathing at this point. I go to pick him up, and he falls on the counter. But he's, like, flipping a little bit. I can't get him. Can't grab him. I got the spoon in one hand, and I got his little cup in the other hand. I'm trying to get him, scoop him up in there. Ended up throwing him back in there. He was just pulsating. Like, he wasn't moving. He was just in the water like this. Yeah, he was going down for the count. And I was like, oh, my gosh, y'all. He can't, like, he just trying to try his best to get his... His barons back and he didn't. Woke up the next morning, came home. I think I was in, wait, no, was I in college? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, was in, you had him. I was in college at the time with Patrick. So I came back home to check on him. And honey, lo and behold, he was in the bushes. He was in the bushes, upside down, dead. And I cried, honey, I cried. The bushes I the pointed aquarium. fingers. Okay, yeah, the, the bushes in front of his aquarium. So he, I had some pink bushes that were in there for him, just to make it look cute. And um, he was caught up in the bushes upside down, eyes wide open. <laughs> it just really broke me, y'all. Y'all know I don't handle really stuff well anyway. I mean, wouldn't his eyes be open anyway? You have to say that part. I didn't know that, Mom. Because when Chappie, what Chappie's oh, yeah, I don't know what Chappie's look dried out. I mean, not Chappie, Pookie's. He, Pookie was a little fish about this big and he had really big eyes that bulged off the side of his head like this. His body was pretty much his head. Um, so the eyes were really big, like bigger than the body almost. And when he died, because it was Chappie's fault, Chappie kept nudging Pookie into the side of the tank. Like just kept doing it. And what was so crazy is both of them were fish that could actually live together. It wasn't like I had an aggressive breed fish in there with another fish. They were both like a type of goldfish um but he killed him he killed him he nudged him to the point where i think he might have just had a heart attack or like a little stroke or something being under so much stress honey but that took him out and i felt so bad because he was so cute like he was so stinking cute y'all like just the way he looked he was so cute that broke my heart i only had him for about three days and um chappy killed him and chappy was so big and just so stinking and just so loud. He just chapped all day, just just up in the water. And he chapped so much, he made the water fog from his breath. Just a green paint from Chappie lips. Every time somebody come in there, they're like, what is that noise, Chappie? Chapping in the back. I think I'm gonna go with another fish this time. I don't think you should. Well, Mom, I, th I think Mom doesn't think I should go with any type of animal. You're so emotional, man. Like, I really am, but now with these cats, because they really don't have any respect for my stuff, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm okay. to the point now where I can't do any animals that aren't gonna listen. Speaking of stuff, <laughs> yo, uh, Mark Park back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a new one. I didn't even know this other one was better. Oh, yeah. 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 Are you really screaming? I can use this one. I go to the grocery store. <laughs> no, you can't. It'd be the fanciest one in the store. That cabbage wasn't good for you. Yeah, look, it doesn't. Oh, let me show y'all what cabbage does. Y'all, real quick. This is a real head of cabbage straight from the grocery store. In here. Okay. Let's just pull this piece right here off. Well, we'll pull off a thinner piece. This is cool. Here, Mike, put that back up. Is that lighter? Here, Mike, put that back up. You got a lighter? A lighter? Uh, oh. push that up and hold it. You gotta hold it the whole time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just doing too much work. Yeah. 
Big okay. Thumb. Here, my push it up and hold it. <laughs> Stay on it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it like this so y'all can see it come through. Come through what? Come through. I was thinking okay, it might smoke it. It may burn like a hole or something in it. And as it smokes, you'll smell plastic. It will not burn. It's actually pretty rubbery. It turned black. But when you, when women use those to dry their breast milk out, they wither up. So they obviously they do decay. That yeah, breast they milk do will cause them They to do wither. decay. But the problem is, they've actually put a film over this. I'm gonna separate it for you all to actually see. There's plastic on this to make it last longer in the stores. Keep it on my cabbage every day. That's why you have to cook it. You cook that off. Okay. <laughs> and clean it. You clean it and cook it and it'll get off of there. All right, here we go. Okay, that can't see none of that thin thing. <laughs> that I'm sorry y'all can't see the film that I'm trying to peel off, but it will separate itself. There's a clear piece on both sides that you can actually peel from this and it'll be um it'll actually and i know all plants have that epi you know that epidermis level i'm trying to think about skin so that top surface layer that kind of protects itself but no 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 they're putting stuff in our food and we better start they've been doing that watching. cutting the watermelon right now I would have just shouted out whoever just gave me a comment <clears throat> hold on I'm gonna shout them out real quick shout out to oh someone just posted someone just posted on my um a comment underneath one of my videos saying congratulations on a thousand subbies but I wanted to um shout you out because I actually just seen it just now and that doesn't always happen when I'm recording a video where I actually get a comment at the same time so I was going to shout you out. Let me see who it is real quick so I can actually shout you out. It's not showing me. Okay, so yeah. shout out to, I hope I say it right, for the love of Pinky Shears. Shout out to you, girl, because you just hit me up while I was recording this video. Look at you. Look at you, sweet. How you doing, sweet? All the way from North Carolina. <laughs> I don't know when to stop sometimes, y'all. I get it from my mama. She don't know when to stop either. Especially when she gets carried away with that laugh, honey. Sometimes she gets sleepy and she cannot cut it back. It just takes off running and it's down the street. Okay. Cutting the watermelon at the moment, y'all. Y'all can kind of see I'm actually putting all my good old muscle into this thing. This is not the best coat part of me. Let's see what it's looking like. I had an interview today, you guys. I have to tell y'all what happened with my last job because, oh, y'all, that's gonna be a whole nother story time because it's gonna take me a little minute to explain to y'all. But moving forward in life, look at this watermelon. Ooh, looks good. I'm about to cut some squares out of this. My own thing. This might be a good one. It just don't. Uh-uh. Yeah. Ma. I think we might have need a king on this one. Yeah, I'm going to bring you a little piece. 
you know how the watermelon tastes like it's like it might have been rotten a little bit from the inside out huh mama huh you know how the watermelon sometimes tastes like it's been rotten yeah. from that's how this is mm. it's got that funky taste to it you look like a bag yeah. Here, let me see. Let's see if we can't get Mama a sample. It looks so pretty, but it's just so juiced up. It's just so watery. You could tell that it probably. This is another um life hack, Mom. Yeah. This is a life hack. If your watermelon tastes in spoiled. Oh, it's tasting like <laughs> not okay. Small, right? no good. okay, maybe not small. <laughs> if it's not as sweet, because to me that's small. <laughs> okay, I'm just playing y'all. But if it's not sweet, then just to elevate it a little bit, you can make it a savory treat instead and add some salt to it. That's some country stuff right there. But that's if you want to, because everybody don't like it with no salt. But if it's not sweet, you can add some sugar to it too. Look at her. Oh, okay, I see. Well, the sugar's only gonna make it worse, so don't listen to me. Listen to the first life hack. We'll just use salt if it's not sweet, sweetie. Okay, y'all, I know y'all see me down here struggling. Y'all can't see me, but I am actually struggling to cut this. Only because it's in the sink. Cutting the watermelon in the sink is the best idea. Just so you don't have to worry about juice going everywhere. And you gotta wipe it up and some But I really hope you enjoyed the last video with the sky views because it took me a couple of days to actually get that footage for y'all. It was so crazy how the weather has been down here. Which I am definitely gonna blame it on um, these companies, these big companies ripping through our ozone like we don't have nothing left lord have mercy i'm sorry y'all i don't need to be talking to y'all while i cut this watermelon because i just can't do both i can't execute both in the liver all right okay so y'all can tell my cutting skills ain't on point but guess what? We gonna get it cut. Guess what? We John G it, Judd. We John G it. We John G it. That's what I have to tell the kids sometimes. They be so upset. Okay. Has a nice clear bowl for it. But how is everybody doing? Because I'm always so busy trying to tell y'all what I'm going through, what I got going on. I don't ever ask y'all. How are y'all doing? Seriously doing? Because you know sometimes. Uh oh. Is it floating? My ex. It needs some more time. Um, you know sometimes we don't really get people. You know you just go through things every day. You know people just assume. You know sometimes you might be down. Something is wrong. What's wrong? Nothing, you know, still just, oh, okay, I hope it gets better, whatever. Um, but you never really get to talk about what you're going through. I really hope everybody is really okay. And I hope that if you're watching this video and it makes you happy, that it really um, maybe will give you a little more energy to actually message me and talk to me about what you're going through. It'll be between me and you. But we can actually talk in dialect. You never know what somebody else may be, what you might have in common with somebody um, until you talk to them. Never know how you can help. You never know what you can get from the situation. You won't know until you try. Not trying is failing. I'm going to tell you that now. And I know, sweetie. I know. This watermelon is looking really good. It just had a pour down and then stopped. Okay. Oh, did I tell you my power went out yesterday? So, you guys, my power went out yesterday. Yep, it sure did. Be yeah because of the storm there was a really bad storm that swept through my town yesterday in my city and honey when i tell y'all i was not having it first of all i live in an older house okay so when the lights go out it's almost like being at your grandma's house when she tell you to turn off all them lights 
in the house when you know when the thunderstorm starts lightning starts you gotta shut everything down <sighs> that's kind of how i felt yesterday but then i felt a little bit better because then i started lighting these candles my mom gave me on these really pretty glass candle sconces so i was like all right i guess i'll just get into the groove with the lights being off honey perfect time to meditate but yes we did that with a power outage yesterday but another good thing it came back on quick they don't play no games out there staying out in the country though mm -mm. it take them a couple of hours you might not see them to the next evening of the next business day but they actually got out there within an hour's time and fixed mine i came back home from getting me something to eat last night and my power was back on i was so happy if you're ever feeling down you're just in the house. You just really don't feel like you have a lot of energy. Another little life hack. Go outside and get some of that vitamin D from the sun. If the sun is out. Because it actually will help you feel a little bit more energetic. Now if you get too much of the sun. You're probably going to be back in there laying down again. Because sometimes the sun can wear you out. But um. Definitely. If you're not feeling up to it. Go out and get some of that sunlight. Not feeling too well. Get yourself some energy. The sun is the best God that we can actually see. It's the best one we have. It keeps all things going, believe it or not, even us, because we don't like to work at night. Most of us don't anyway. So you'd be surprised how the sun God has helped us. Freak! I'm sorry, I'm still struggling with this watermelon. Don't get kids to cut the watermelon, okay? Don't let the kids cut the watermelon. I'm the kid. Yeah. She is the kid right now. If y'all see what has happened in this sink, it just looks like a explosion, a watermelon fight explosion. Okay, quick question. I just thought about something while I'm cutting this watermelon. Should watermelon be washed off? <laughs> in your opinion. It's already made mostly of water. But should a watermelon be washed off? Because we wash off every other fruit, but I've never heard anybody say anything about washing off watermelon, unless it hit the ground. Just curious. Does anybody wash their watermelon off? That's a question. You can answer it. Don't be shy. Oh, just some more fun facts about me so you guys know. I am a DC Marvel superhero fan, okay? I will go see any movie to DC and Marvel. Yes, both. We don't discriminate. I told y'all that before, I think. Well, no, I didn't get to upload my video. So I had a video for you guys where me and um, Honey went to go see the end game. And I um deleted it. This was a couple months ago, though. The video was from a couple months ago. Oh, it's time. Oh, that's how I like it, honey. We cooked it to perfection. Do y'all see this? Oh, they got to get that. Okay, give me that. Oh, man. Wait, Damn. Oh, right, okay, give me this. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just too freaking. Fashion, it's going to burn up for real. Ooh. Okay, this is melting. <laughs> okay. Don't use plastic. <laughs> Mama don't like to put her watermelon in the refrigerator. Is there anybody else out there like that too? I mean, like, we'll have a whole cow if it's in the refrigerator and cold. Yes. Honey. Almost so bad that she might want to put it in the microwave. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, seriously, she cannot stand cold watermelon. Never could. So I just wanted to know, is there anybody else out there like that? Because I don't mind, honey. I don't discriminate. It'd be cold. <laughs> no, you will, honey. <laughs> you think they'll crawl all the way up? What? Oh. Girl, ants will get up on the ceiling if they can get a piece of food. Ants don't play. Let me tell y'all about an ant. And I know this probably gonna sound funny. So I were, I had on my um, tennis shoes the other day, right? Because I had just left from the park. And I had on my tennis shoes, came in, took my tennis shoes off, and I sat on the porch. And it was like two little baby ants on the porch. And I had my feet crawled from sitting there chilling. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen an ant or watched the ant try and get the food or try and find food. But I guess my feet must have had a little stench on them that they were looking for. Because <laughs> every time I moved, 
every time I moved my foot, they would go crazy. Like they would be looking for the smell, looking, looking, looking. And then I would lift my feet up and they would go crazy. I mean like lose it, honey. Running into each other. They could not find out where my foot went. But I thought that was so funny. Ants will go anywhere, honey, for that fuzzy. Or something that smells like fuzzy. Get some bunion rings. <laughs> Maybe some Fritos Cheetos. <laughs> dying to hear it so I, I just know uh -uh, absolutely not we're just gonna pass on that oh my yo my mom's place her the people that she stays for that where she lives are fancy whose company gives out wristbands with the name of the place that you stay on it it's to get in the pool oh the heck? <laughs> where the pool this is the pool wristband okay see at my little hood spot that I stayed at my last apartment complex that one you don't get nothing to get in there you well, don't they get don't nothing they don't... Over here. They don't to be over here. right they didn't either but they'll just walk out there and start asking questions <laughs> <laughs> they'll just walk out there and start asking questions <laughs> do you stay here it's way too many people out here today but this is so cute Okay, I'm gonna have to come over here and go to the pool one day because I don't got no pool. I do with the bathtub, but I'm definitely gonna have to come over here to the real pool because the bathtub's not big enough to swim in. I just saying, I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I was younger, I used to want to go to the pool a lot. Like, I liked going to the pool. Well, I got to a point where I just put my bathing suit on and go sit in the tub. I can't go to the pool. The pool's not open. But you want to go swimming. And be playing in water. Look at this chicken. Oh my gosh. That's hot. Oh my gosh. Go right off the bone. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bro, that's somebody white. Mm, 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 mm. When you cook like this, you're somebody white. Even if you're not married yet, just know you are. Just know in your heart you are. Mama, why you put your feet in this chicken so bad? Why you put your feet in this chicken so bad? I don't know y'all can see that steam coming up off of there. I'm eating the pie. So thirsty. Mm. 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 I woke up last night in the night and I was so thirsty. It was one of those type of thirst where you could reach over and grab anything and be just trying to quench it. I had to get up after bed because I didn't have nothing at my bedside. And I usually have like a glass of water because I know I get thirsty in the night. And I didn't have nothing to reach over and grab. So I had to get up, stumble out the bed to go in the kitchen. And I don't drink water out the faucet. We actually buy the big things of alkaline water because I don't trust the water that they have coming out of the faucets. So um, I stumbled in the kitchen. And honey, when I tell y'all, I just took the whole thing to the neck. I was in there like, ooh, 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 ooh. thirsty. I'm thirsty now. That's why I said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of trust my mom's water over here more than I trust the city water out there. So we gonna just get this water a try. Oh, you do? Bottle water's in the car. You gonna take that walk for that water? <laughs> Woo. I don't think this will hurt me. I don't drink faucet water that often, so. I know, I usually don't. And I know you don't like water, period. But I know if you're going to drink it, it's only going to be out of a bottle. Water place down there and it smell like butt. What water place smelling like butt? Smell like pure Smelling like pure dookie. Okay, y'all. I'm so man. This is just no ma'am. And I'm enjoying my water. <laughs> like we'll be having tea. Okay. See, now that's how you do it. You make sure you have everything you have you supposed to have and then you go sit down and eat your food so you don't have to ask nobody else can you go get me something to drink can you bring me a napkin can you bring me mama has everything she needs i asked her did she want me to bring her something to drink no i already got some joke do what do joke consider it of others okay it wasn't always like that because she used to call us all the way in from outside to get the remote that was sitting two inches away from her so it wasn't always like this now Adoption. I'm confused. How did she end up being adopted anything with him? You watching this? I'm gonna have to go um pull that up on the fire stick when I get home. A mother betrayed. Like that. Mm hmm. Cause I started out watching it when it first came on, and she had just met that dude. Lifetime just ain't what it used to be. Oh no, it's definitely not what it used to be. And we'll never get the old lifetime back, especially after they put R. Kelly up there. Doing all that extra stuff. They shouldn't have did that. But whatever, we ain't gonna talk about that. <coughs> oh, if this comes on TV, it's on there. It's on there. You can go up to the search box and they should have options for your TV shows and their movies. Recently added. It's like Netflix. Mm-hmm. Commercial free, baby. Ralph John. Wait, no, it's not. They do still do commercials on demand, don't they? A little bit, I think. <clears throat> What's your show called, bro? Beverly Hills Housewives. Uh, that ain't never gonna change. If my mom needs to be an honorary member of the Beverly Hills Housewives. <laughs> the Beverly Hills Housewives, even though she isn't one. Because she's been supporting y'all dusty asses for a while. I'm sorry, mom. But she's been supporting y'all and hasn't got nothing. Nathan. Okay. That's enough. I'm done. But she will have y'all show lit. Y'all just don't even know. Y'all, you think you're viewed somewhere now? Put Miss She's So Fabulous on there as an honorary member. Hmm. I need these potatoes. What is CBD oil? I'm so glad you asked me about that. It it's actually has a lot of good properties. A lot of people have been telling me to use it for my anxiety. But CBD is not THC. But it kind of share some of the same properties to where it'll give you somewhat of the same effect if you get what i'm saying but not as thc would so cbd you can actually function on it it helps you with certain things like depression anxiety you know um and then also they have essential oils that they actually add to the cbd so like let's say you want to get you some sleep you can get some lavender cbd oil if you get what I'm saying. Or like you're having some some immune problems. You can get some 
like lemon eucalyptus CBD oil. So it has lemon, the eucalyptus, and the CBD oil in there. So these are all properties that'll help you. It just depends. Oh, now it can get expensive because I went and bought a pack. Well, they, it comes in different forms. So I went and bought CBD gummies. It was only three gummy worms in the whole entire pack for four dollars. So you can eat it in a gummy. They have sometimes like drinks um and a pen too so you can get like a little pen that'll have the oil in it for you so you just pull it through and like that it is essentially a type of high people don't want to say that but smoking the cbd oil will make you feel different than what you would feel if you hadn't known it so I mean, yes it's, are you only way to take it in and smoke it no that's why i said you could drink it you can drink it and you can eat it or you could smoke it. But they definitely use the oil in like fruits. I mean foods. Like candy. They'll um, infuse it into the candy. Well, they have some at the movie place. Where I get the movie from. Hmm. And they had a price of it wrote out. And it sounded like it's expensive because it's like $100 for something. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, and I think that's swallow, really. Swallow water is like fifty bucks. I'm like, what? It's that? really like it, they do too much, and it's really not that deep. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say what I really want to say, but we're just gonna say this: if you like CBD oil, more power to you. Keep using the CBD oil. It does not work for me at all. Try the CBD gummies. I didn't really like the taste. It's got a weird taste to it, too. Wow, you can taste it inside of the foods, the candy, the, the even when you like pulling it through the, and they have flavors <coughs> of the oil and the hookah. In the, I'm going to say hookah so bad in the pans. Well, I've been thinking about just using it consistently, but I just didn't like the way it made me feel. But I think you should definitely go check it out, Ma. Or hemp. They also got a hemp store now, too. The hemp leaves. Yeah. That's what the CBD comes from, I think. The hemp. But they just opened up a store that they have where I stay. But I think you should definitely go check it out. See? <coughs> they just need to stop playing games. Honestly. That's what I really wanted to say, but I can't say that.